Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. Try something a little different. Maybe moving forward with videos and ask for people to like and subscribe early in the video. Maybe get them more people that don't necessarily watch the whole video. Alright, as you can see on the screen, yes, got the Mona Bean. <sighs> Was kind of a debate because it definitely does look like you can increase, significantly increase the amount of resources and materials you can get. But at the same time, do I like that you're monetizing all this stuff that is really necessary for players to level up into the 50s, be ready for when G6 comes out. <clears throat> and no free-to-play path has been named yet. So, however. Now, I did mention in the last video when I was talking about crews that maybe once you got the Motivine, and you had a battleship going against explorers that maybe you wouldn't need Marcus, but I don't know if it's necessarily because the hostiles themselves have very high mitigation or maybe it's because since I'm only tier one, I'm hitting a little higher than maybe I should. So still going with Marcus, five Marcus and your favorite hole breacher for the time being, I have Hugh below deck. Potentially, may use a con if I can get more under deck slots for, let's say, Balana. Alright. I'm not talking about the hostiles. Specifically, talk about how the loot interacts with the refinery. So, entering the system, and I'm just letting it do the auto grind thing. Let's take a look at these chests, these 11 chests, these came from a hull of auto grinding. Let's see what I end up getting. 27,000 of the active net chips. I want to say... Now I don't even remember, I don't even remember how much loot I actually get per hull. But... As I am auto grinding, which I'm not a huge fan of, but at the same time, I'm more a fan of that than having to grind reds where my peace shield drops, which just seems stupid. All right, let's come all the way to the bottom here. Look at this Motivine refinery. Many, many options here. Now, call your attention to this these little tabs at the top of each box more specifically the ones towards the end notice it says tier one for the ship level 53 to 54 now that's me so it's not like the voyager commerce tokens were just going off the ship it is going off the ship and your level Now, some of the things that are going off of just the ship should be uh, where you're exchanging your neural and active net chips. These three here. Neural net, active net, choice selection exchange. See, it's titled as stretch goal. I guess if you get extra stuff. Let's take a look inside. Now something we're going to have to take note of. Unless I'm going crazy, which is a possibility. I swear the first time I looked in this refinery for the neural net chips. These geode things were not here. It was just Monavine parts and Queen's favors. It's possible, I just didn't see it. It's also possible there was a screw up and it got added in later. I don't know. As you can see, it's relatively cheap. Now, I am getting approximately 10,000 net chips 
a haul. So, you can easily do a double pull. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 200 Monavine parts, which is very low in relation to, let's say, Voyager. I feel I was very, I was able to tear up Voyager relatively fast. Not necessarily going to be the case with the Monavine. I think, <clears throat> quick math, I think you need like 1,500 Monavine parts to go from Tier 1 to Tier 2. So, don't necessarily expect within a week or two, you're going to have this up to like Tier 5. Which is about what Voyager did, was. So, 200 Queen Favors, 200 Monovine Parts, 90 of the Regal Geodes. Those are for their researches. Take a look at the Active Net Chips. Now you see, just from one hull of gr auto grinding, I was able to get, what, 27,000 Active Net Chips? Double pull here, for this tier anyway, is... 25,000. So, at this point, I'm getting enough for the double pull. 100 queen favors. Then you got some geodes, your researches. Here you go. Here are the directives. Now, again, when I first looked in this chest, queen's favors, regal, regal geodes, no directives. I swear that's what it was. It's possible because I was looking on my tablet and the way the screen is, it's not as spread out as it is here on a the computer. There are, I think it separates to like two or three lines. And it's possible they all didn't fit on the screen or something with my tablet. And I just couldn't see them or didn't see them. It's possible. But, so just a warning that if you don't see them right after you initially build it, that it's possible that it needs a daily refresh, either at when it dailies refresh or when event resets. And then it'll pop up. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do a double pull since I got almost a million. I haven't barely been doing anything except auto grinding. 200 more queen favors, 340 ship yard directives. I'm not going to get into the Armadas yet. That'll be next video. Just going over refinery stuff today. And some more research credits. Now, this choice selection thing, what is this? Take your regular Noronet chips, not the blue ones. We'll call them the rare net chips. Why well, they just didn't call them the rare net chips since you made them blue. You had gray ones. Those are the commons. Then you had the red ones. Those would be the rares. Not sure why you didn't go with that, but however. It's only 12,000. I got I got plenty. So I might as well get some more favor with the queen. All right. Automated shipyard exchange. This would be the currency you get for killing the armadas. It's not... That good. I am only tier one. So we'll see. It does say five. Um, five pulls from all this junk per chest. So potential to get ten. 10 choices out of this. Let's see how that goes. Alright, let's get into this Queen Favor shit. Parsteel Tritanium Dilithium. One chest is 100 per. Now, if you want two chests, of course there's an increase. And that's 300 Queen Favors. Why? I, I, I don't know. They just... They just want to mess with you. Because they like messing with people. But as you could see with my neural net and my active net, my common and my rare pulls, 
I was able to get 400. So while I guess there is an uptick in cost here for pulling a double chest, you can potentially do it because you get 400 a day. Plus, if you're going to do your um, whatever stretch goal thing or whatever the hell they called the dumb thing, another 250. So potentially 650. Potentially do that. And I think see I got 750. I am running very low on par steel. I got lots of buildings I like to, I would like to do. So let's do a double pull of this. 64 billion par steel. Uh, not really hurting for Tritanium at this moment, so I'm just going to do single pulls. I would kind of like to do a double pull of Dilithium, but it's also kind of low. 700 million is... It, it's nice. I mean, I think I should be getting closer to 3 or 4 billion Dilithium a day because... So she's getting expensive up here. Let's just go with a hundred. So, and as you can see, these are refreshing. Queen favors are refreshing daily. Choice selection does not refresh daily. Take note of that. It's a three day cooldown. Pretty sure the shipyard is also a three day cooldown, but the active net and the neural net are both one day cooldowns. Now, before I get you out of here, let's take a look at the monthly pack, whatever the hell it is. Because that is something we attributed it to. All right, so take a look at this, 50 billion. That would be my daily claim from September Elite Daily Reward Pack. Yes, 30 million is lower than 50 million, but not too low, too much lower. And this is only a tier one. So has potential, especially with higher tiers, to see more value in that and really see well, yeah, yeah, it probably will be better than buying a monthly pack every month. Find the, oh, they removed the, well, I was going to try to look at the research one, but see where that was at, but it's, they, for some reason, stopped doing that. Oh, well. However, well, let's, uh, yeah, I don't even, I don't even count why I'm paying attention to what, I guess I just want the screen to reflect what I'm talking about. All right, let's wrap this up for today. So the Monavine refinery, while it does seem like it's an annoying most players, I guess, is the right word there, that something that's extremely beneficial to everybody has to be monetized. Something that people will need to get up from G4 to G5 or G5 to G6 when it comes out. But is to be expected. It is a new thing. Of course, it's going to be monetized early. Just hope that will be a reasonable free-to-play path coming soon. Because it really does seem to be, and we'll see as the tier grows, how much the rewards grow, but it does seem to be somewhat worth it for me. I get kind of a dual purpose when I decided to buy it. When I'll get the rewards too, for me anyway, I can do videos about it, right? So it does kind of help me on two fronts. Not that I'm necessarily struggling to talk about things with this game, but it is more, how do you say, current events right so there's that 
Comment below, have you bought this Monavine? What do you think of the rewards that come along with it? If you haven't bought it, what's holding you back? Do you just not spend? Or are you significantly annoyed that no free-to-play path has been announced? Because I do get that, right? You don't want to buy something and then free-to-play path is announced the next day. And at the same time, I, I get how it can be a mindset. Look, if you're not going to offer anybody this, a free-to-play path to it, then I don't want to pay you for it. But to a certain extent, sometimes you got to do things that benefit you. Be sure to like and subscribe. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, Commanders.